Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video, let's see how we can deploy metric server in our Kubernetes cluster. So this is not a new video. I've done a video um, already about this, how to deploy metric server using Helm. Uh, but let, let me show you, let me bring up my browser. And uh, if I search for just me cube 35, so there are a few videos where I've used metric server, all right? So those who have watched my videos about horizontal pod autoscaler um, are pod autoscaling based on memory utilization, cube 35, cube 35 discussion one. You have noticed that I've used um, the metric server. So basically we need to have metric server installed because that's the one that grabs metrics from nodes, pods, and various resources that we can use in our uh, pod autoscaling, all right? So the way we, the way I showed you, the way I install metric server in these videos are going into the GitHub repo for a metric server and then doing a kubectl apply of the manifest of the YAML file and so on. So things have changed slightly. A few people have tried this video and they've come to me asking me that it's not actually working. So can you revisit this video? Okay, so, and later I did a follow-up video Cube 35.1, where I showed you how you can deploy metric server using Helm. So this video, um, for whoever uh, it's not working, just make sure that you've got your environment set up correctly because I've tried, I've retested this video just uh, before this uh, recording. And every single step I mentioned in this video is still relevant and it's still working. So if it's not working, uh, let me know in the comment section give me as much details as possible like what's your environment how did you set up your kubernetes cluster whether you've used my vagrant environment or is it a kind kubernetes in docker or any other uh, kubernetes cluster if you could give me as much detail as possible um, i can help you out okay so this video is not about deploying metric server using helm but uh, deploying metric server in a standard way right so we're gonna clone, we're not gonna clone the GitHub repository for a metric server, but we are going to use the manifest in the GitHub repository. So forget about Helm because this video is completely working and it's still relevant. I only did this four months ago, okay? All right, so I'm going to uh, go to, I'm gonna search for Kubernetes metrics server. So there we go. So that's the GitHub repository Kubernetes dash six metric server. All right. So going into there, and if you look in the deployment, so all we have to do is just run this command kubectl apply minus f, and that's the YAML file. So it's called components.yaml and its version is 0 0.3.6. So bear this in mind. Uh, the video that I'm currently doing is based on this particular version 0 0.3.6 and um, let me show you my Kubernetes cluster kubectl version minus minus short so I'm running version 1.18.2 kubectl get nodes so one master two worker nodes so it's based on my vagrant uh, environment uh, they are running 1.18.2 we box manage list running VM, so they're all simple virtual box, virtual machines. Okay, so that's my Kubernetes cluster. And I'm not going to run this uh, command directly because I need to modify this YAML file before I can uh, deploy it in my cluster, okay? So you can also find this uh, YAML file under the releases page. So if I go to the top, so there is uh, this releases. And the latest release at the time of recording this video is version 0 0.3.6. And you've got the components.yaml file here. So I'm gonna copy the link address, wget and paste it. Cool, so I've got my components.yaml. I'm gonna rename that to metric server.yaml so that I know what yaml file it is. Okay, so metric server.yaml file. All right, so before uh, deploying this, I need to make a couple of changes um, in order for the metric server to run successively, to run um, successfully in my cluster. But I'm gonna show you, if I don't do anything, if I just do, uh, if I just go ahead and deploy this, as they say here, where is it? Yeah, as they say here, if I just uh, go ahead and deploy this file without modifying it, um, I just want to show you what error you will see, okay? 
So if you're running, if your cluster is based on uh, cloud, for example, if you're running this cluster in GKE, um, EKS or AKS, uh, then you don't have to worry about um, all these. Or I've also tested this in uh, a cluster using a Docker container like kind K3D. And it's all running fine. The metric server is all running fine. All you need to do is just run this command and you will have your metric server. Okay, so it so far it has only affected uh, the clusters deployed using VirtualBox uh, virtual machines using my vagrant environment. Okay, so if I do kubectl top nodes, uh, at the moment we don't have metric server deployed and I'm going to do kubectl apply minus f metric server dot yaml okay so i don't need this browser anymore let's close this okay kubectl apply minus f metric server dot yaml let's do that okay so it has created a service account a deployment a service couple of cluster role and role bindings and so on okay so kubectl get all we don't have that because it's deployed in the cube system namespace kubectl minus n cube system get all okay there we go metric server that's running fine and that's the metric server service we have the metric server deployment cool so everything is okay and it's actually running fine and if I do kubectl top nodes okay so previously we were seeing a different message and now it's different metrics not available yet so okay kubectl top nodes not available yet All right let's wait for a few more minutes i'm going to pause the video and come back in about a minute and i'm going to show you why it's not actually working okay let's try it now kubectl top nodes still we don't have uh, metrics we don't have any metrics from any of our nodes so let's take a look at what's actually going on kubectl minus n cube cube system get pods okay so that's our metric pod if we take a look at the logs from this pod we should be able to know why it's actually failing okay kubectl minus n cube system logs minus f metric server so i'm looking at the logs for that particular metric server pod okay so clearly this metric server pod is not happy about uh, the deployment so the error we are seeing is you don't have to worry about these ones the real thing is this one here so uh, dial tcp lookup kmaster.example.com no such host unable to fully scrape metrics similarly we got error for kworker1 kworker2 so it seems it has got problem looking up kworker1 kworker2 and K kmaster so there is a host name lookup uh, problem all right so right so i'm going to do one edit here uh, i'm going to edit the yaml file and so that's cluster role that's cluster role binding role binding we need to go to the deployment so that's service account right so there we go so we have the deployment so that's the metric server what i'm going to do is i'm going to edit the arguments that we pass for the metric server so that's the image we are using version 0.3.6 which is what i showed you in the release page so that's the version we are running 0.3.6 and those are the two arguments that we are currently passing to that uh, container, to that uh, metric server process. So I'm going to add one more argument to it, which is minus minus kubelet preferred address types equals internal IP. All right. So all I'm adding is this one extra argument called kubelet preferred address types equals internal IP. Pay careful attention to the case. So I is in uppercase and IP is in uppercase. All right. So let me save this and reapply this manifest. kubectl apply minus f metric server dot yaml. Cool. So everything else is unchanged except the deployment. So the deployment is now reconfigured. Okay. kubectl minus n kube system get pods 
All right, so metric server age is 15 seconds. So definitely that's a new pod that's launched a short while ago. Let's take a look at the logs kubectl or let's do kubectl top note. Still, it says metrics not available yet. Okay, kubectl minus n cube system logs minus f. Let's take a look at the metrics logs for the, the new pod. Okay, I don't see any problems in the log, uh, but I think we need to wait for a while. It does uh, scrape the metrics uh, once in a while. I don't know. I think it does in about every 15 seconds or every 30 seconds, but if we wait here, we will be able to see the actual error. Oh, there you go. So now we've got an error. Uh, unable to fetch metrics. Okay, so this time, this is a different error, okay? So it says X509 cannot validate certificate. So because we are using a self-signed certificate in our cluster, it says um, cannot validate certificate for Kmaster, Kworker1, and Kworker2. Okay, so this is where you need to do your second edit. All right, so let's do, uh, let's edit the metric server, and I'm gonna add one more argument, which is kubelet, insecure TLS. So we are just asking the metric server to ignore the certificate warnings and so on. So the other argument that I'm adding right now is kubelet dash insecure dash TLS. All right, save that and apply it. kubectl apply. So again, everything else is unchanged except the deployment. kubectl minus n cube system get pods. Right, metric server, 11 seconds, that's clearly a new pod. Okay, kubectl minus n, cube system logs minus f. Let's take a look at the logs. Okay, so, so far the log is looking clean. I don't see any problems with it. And if I do kubectl top notes, metric still not available, that's okay. And if I look at the logs, so you can safely ignore these ones here. kubectl top notes. Nope. So I'm going to pause the video and come back in about a couple minutes to, let's give it some time to scrape the metrics and we should be able to see it. So those are the only two arguments that you need to add. Uh, kubelet preferred, let me show you. Kubelet preferred address types equals internal IP. So that's for the host name resolution and uh, kubelet insecure TLS. So that's for uh, asking the metric server to ignore the certificate warning when trying to connect to different nodes to scrape the metrics, all right? Let's see now if it has got any metrics to show us. kubectl top nodes, there we go. So we've got the CPU utilization, memory utilization. We can also see kubectl minus N cube system top pods. Yep, so you also get uh, the CPU and memory utilization for the pods, individual pods. So cool, so that's how you install a metric server without using Helm. If you want, if you prefer using Helm, you can follow my other video, Cube 35.1, uh, which is still relevant, which is still working, no problem with that. So uh, that's it for this video. Hopefully, uh, you found this video useful please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and um, i will see you all in my next video all right bye bye